Saturday because my mom is getting her hair done. I'm getting my hair done. I'm about to eat some breakfast and then I'm gonna be going to get my hair sewn in. I've only ever gotten three sew-ins in my entire life. I normally like to have my real hair, but something about the fall is just giving look like a baddie. Especially when I go back on the line, which is probably gonna be end of this month or next month. I'm just excited to like get back to feeling like myself. That starts with bust down. I'm about to make some breakfast. I think I'm gonna make some eggs with spinach. I have this pumpkin oatmeal, y'all. I got this pumpkin oatmeal from Trader Joe's. I still haven't tried. It's the pumpkin pecan oatmeal. I'm gonna make that real quick and wash my face and get my life together. And then I'll see y'all when I'm about to eat breakfast. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. All right, y'all, so I look a mess, but I did finish breakfast. As soon as I'm done with breakfast, my mom texted me and was like, hey, meet me at the eyebrow place. I'm on my way. I'm gonna be there in 17 minutes. I look crazy. I've been eating breakfast. And y'all, go in there to touch the bundles. The bundles are wet. I cannot do that today. I don't have time. She layered it so nice too. It's so cute. Now I gotta obviously complete the look and I'm like, I need to either do my lashes tonight or um, get my eyebrows done. I'm rushing to get to eyebrows and I need to get gas. Let me get some gas so I end up broke down and pretty. So I'll see y'all in a second. So I got gas so your girl won't break down. And funny enough, I still stopped for the tropical smoothie before I went to get gas. Like acting like I literally had gas when I was past zero. I have to eat my lunch, listen to some music, and head to go get my brows done. Daddy's gonna hurt me just when you see me. They don't know me. I'll come running. Girl, don't call me sis because I'm not your sister. I'm the man from the big BB. What you gonna play around my way? Let's go. Go, go, go to the That means you're scared, right? You know that I'm sanctioned. You crazy bitch, I'm retarded. I might just chew with your boo. I might just spill on your bed. Get him with that good, good. Make a nigga act right. Oh, yo. Right, your nigga, he's both off. He's high like a nun. Crazy lyrics. Rising with you tonight is on a violin. 
Brows are done! They haven't been done in forever, but she did such a good job. Like, she kept them nice and thick. I already am breaking out, y'all. No matter if I get them threaded or waxed, they always break out. But I prefer threaded because when I get them waxed, they break out all around my eyebrow. This side is a little bit thicker, but she didn't want to go too much and then um, take it too small there. But it look good. Your girl feeling like a new woman. The only thing I have to do is go home and do my lashes. Cause I've never done the individual lashes, but I keep seeing everybody post them. And though I feel like as somebody who is an ex lash tech, I do feel like you cannot go wrong. And ideally you want to go to a lash tech. I do think the individual lashes that everybody are doing now is a great alternative. One, because lashes can be expensive, so it's not for everybody, and you need to be maintaining it. I'm gonna try out the individual method and see if I like it and give my honest opinion, but I feel like that's gonna complete the like baddie fall transformation. Nails need to be done too, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that tonight because I don't really feel like it. But yeah, y'all, see y'all when I get home. All right, y'all, I'm back home and I have my tinting stuff and I have my lash stuff. Literally, so much lash stuff. The tinting stuff that I use is the Godfroy or Godfroy. Um, I don't know the name of this brand, but it's this, this one. It comes with a little tint bowl for you to mix everything. And then it comes with the actual color, which I have in dark brown. I've had mine forever and I just keep rebuying it. It has the little sticks. I keep all of mine like all organized. These are the Veyes individual lashes. I'm gonna put everything down in the bottom if I can find it on Amazon. I've had it for a long time, so I don't, I literally have to like go and look for it. And then this is the other one that I'm gonna use. So I think it's just gonna be a combination of these two. I think I'm gonna use the 20D. So I think I'm gonna use the two darker ones of those. I have some tweezers. I saw that cluster lashes, um, they like you to use these that are more of like a cluster lash set for you to hold on to the lash. I got some of these. I do still have my actual lashing stuff, but I think this is better for um, doing cluster lashes. I have some Lash Bond and Lash Seal from Vea's Lashes. This is the one I'll be using. Do my lashes with me. I have my mirror here. I'm gonna be using the 10 times side. Y'all can see yourself. Ooh, extra detailed. Ooh, this mirror is so freaking dirty. Something about being able to see your face this close is extremely Extremely humbling. I'm opening the little capsule now. This is the capsule of color. Open it and put it into my little bowl. It's so funny. It's literally just like mixing uh, hair color. Now you really only need like half of this. Like you don't have to use the whole capsule. Then you take one of the little sticks and then you take some of the developer. I obviously have two developers because it came from two different kits. Like I said, I've been using this for a while. I don't even remember the measurements. I just do equal parts. So this is a texture, watery, but it's like a little thick. I had to grab a claw clip. And then I just take a regular brow pencil, like an angled brow pencil. Then I just fill in my brows like I would if I was doing my eyebrows. I apply it on the outer ends first to make sure that those ends are darker and then I go in. I'm just gonna do it and y'all are gonna see. And it's best when you're doing this, um, I like to have this small mirror. Also do it in front of my vanity mirror too. If you don't have a vanity mirror, do it in front of your sink. I'm doing my best to see up close, but sometimes it's still better to just see it with your natural eye. You're still gonna clean it up once you apply it. So once you apply it, it's not like stuck there forever, but. A wet q-tip I just go and I kind of clean up the areas that I don't want dye remember you can always add back but it's hard to take off once you once they're on so make sure that you clean up as much as you can to make a clean line I'm gonna do the other side and still just doing the ends While I'm waiting the five minutes, this is gonna be darker. The outer ends are gonna be darker now. So now I just take the brush and I go in the inner area. The important thing to remember is you still have a brow pencil and concealer. You end up getting too scared or something and you're like, oh, I don't really like how it came out or oh, it came out too dark. Um, 
that is completely fine. Like even me, I'm boxing my brows in the front. If it ends up tinting and I end up hating it, I still have concealer. Like it's not like it's permanently like this. Normally brow tint lasts for like two weeks, but a lot of people see these dark eyebrows and are like, oh my God, it's not gonna stay that dark. I'm almost ready to take off. This eyebrow is like completely dried hard now. And our timer's up. All right, so I have four cotton pads. So I take two cotton pads and then just brush them across your eyebrows. Slowly but surely just pass through your brows and brush, 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 brush. Y'all can see? Got slightly darker eyebrows. But yeah, now we move on to lashes. I, when I get my lashes done, tend to stop at 14 because I don't want really super crazy thick long lashes. I personally don't like it and I don't think that it looks flattering. I know everybody has their own. There are girls that love 22. And if you love 22, do you boo and do the exact same steps with 22. I'm gonna start with eight inches of the Veyes lashes. I might end up using all of this lash. I do know that you wanna do one eye at a time. Do not try and do both eyes at the same time because too much glue, too many places, looking a little pricey. I'm just gonna brush it into my inner. Inner lashes. I'm gonna take a eight inch lash. The lash clamps from the very tip of the lash with the base like that. Then just placing it right up close to the lash line. And let go. So if you guys can see the underneath, it's right up on my lash line. And that's it. That's it. I'm going with my next link, which is 10. And then pressing it. Already realizing that I'm gonna have to double lash because I already am like, dang, that is not thick enough. I'm gonna put some lash bond on the end and then I'm gonna do 14s. This glue is strong. It's not as strong as professional glue, but I can tell it's definitely strong. Yeah, see, that's cute. I think I am gonna do 14 as my longest length. Ooh, it looks so good. I really like it, y'all. Girl coming from a a lash tech, this might be this might be the move, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm just gonna fill in the middle with 12. I only suggest having a fan. Um, because if you're not used to professional lash glue, I've actually used professional glue in individuals and done my own lashes, so this kind of burning does not bother me, but if you have never done lashes before, this might be killer. Keep that in mind. It would be best to probably have a fan nearby. One eye done, one eye not done. It looks so good though. And then you just take this and you're gonna clamp on the lashes to squeeze them all together. To clamp down. And if you've glued them on right, they shouldn't come <laughs> directly back off. Then I can just take it and you should be able to brush it out. Now obviously these lashes are not like um, individual lashes. I heard you cannot wash these. So you definitely do not want to leave them in too long because oils and everything else will jack you up. So I'll use the other end for the lash seal. And I'm gonna seal all the lashes. This is just the clear side. I'm gonna put it at the base of my lashes. Now I'm just gonna do the other eye off camera and then I'll come back to show you all the final results. So I ended up doing my left eye, my left, yeah. I ended up doing my left eye. And then I ended up doing a second layer on my right eye. And I think I like it double layered. I see it a little better when I face forward, but this is the double eye and this is single. And I definitely think I like the double a little bit fuller because it looks more like a volume set. So I'm about to do the same thing to this eye. But yeah, I definitely think I'm loving this. All right, y'all, the lashes are done and I am obsessed with them, y'all. They literally look so freaking good. Like, I feel like they look super natural. Still so cute. Batty central. My camera's about to die. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. It literally was just me getting into the fall spirit and I feel like it looks so good. Like my fall transformation of my hair, my brows, my lashes just looks so freaking good. So this has just kind of been like the final transformation and what I feel like has been a journey for me in this past month, just taking time off from my mental health. You guys have seen on my health days, just like focusing on my spiritual, making new friends, like getting my energy and my surroundings right because I really 
want to go into this next year just on a fresh start and feeling the best that I've ever felt. Um, and I feel like that's actually happening. So I think this like transformation of the outside today just makes me feel complete. Let's just don't want to show y'all everything because I'm about to go white in my teeth and I probably am going to try and fix these nails. At least get the, the bad stuff off and just have blank nails. Um, my camera's about to die and I'm also hungry. I'm gonna go cook dinner but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. I love you. Small world with big dreams. Bad girl with big things. Nani you the drip queen. Elevate your big deal. Nani na na na, top girl from Atlanta. Nani na na na, 